grade 6 bisector of an angle it's chapter 9 on the page 53 bisector of an angle at the end of this chapter I will be able to فإذن بنهاية هيدا الدرس سوف أصبح قادر على recognize the bisector as an axis of symmetry of an angle إنه نصير نعرف إنه ال bisector of the angle هو ال axis of symmetry لهيدا الانجل construct the bisector of an angle using the protractor فإذا ما تعلم كيف منرسم ال bisector using the protractor and using the compass for example we have two methods to construct a bisector and use the following properties the bisector of an angle divides it into two equal angles for example we need to know that the bisector divides the angle into two equal angles so in the first activity Draw an angle X O Y that equals 50 degrees on a plain paper. فإذا رح نرسم أنجل على الورقة بتساوي 50 degrees. رح نسميها X O Y. Cut it. وبدنا نقص هذه الأنجل. And make sure that you paste or stick both sides together. O X and O Y by folding. By folding يعني بالضغط والورقة. على بعضها لحد ما هاد two sides stick together أو يتطابقوا فوق بعضهم and then open it رح نفتح هيد الورقة open it and color the fold وبدنا نلون هيدا الطي اللي بيّن عندي باللون الأحمر what does OT represents to the angle هيدا الخط اللي طلع عندي جديد شو بيمثل بالنسبة للأنجل and what is the measure of both angles XOT and TOY? So, steps here. On a piece of paper, we will draw this angle, which equals to 50 degrees. And then we have to cut the extra pieces or parts, and then we have like this shape and then we have to fold the paper together such that the sides stick together فإذا من عند الكورنرز أو من عند الأطراف هون رح نطويهم على بعضهم نقربهم من بعضهم such that إنه هاد two sides يتطابقوا فوق بعضهم so رح نكون عم نطوي بهيدي الطريقة as we see here till the two sides uh, stick together and then لما نفتحها رح نلاقي هيدا الفولد بالنص او هيدا الطاجي موجود بالنص this fold and then we have to draw by red line this fold رح نرسم باللون الاحمر بهيدي المنطقة او على هيدا الخط and then we will notice that the two angles here are equal so هيدا الخط الاحمر اللي نرسم هيدا رح يكون the line of symmetry هيدا الخط هو line of symmetry and this line is uh, the line that divides the angle into two equal and adjacent angles why we say that adjacent since they have the same vertex a common side and they lie at either parts of their common side so they are adjacent angles and uh, this line divides the angle into two equal angular sectors angular sectors so we say that this angle is bisector bisector the prefix bi means two so we have two equal sectors so in this shape we have two equal sectors so this line is called bisector so what's the difference between angle and sector we have here sector is a fraction of the area of the circle هذا هو sector so إذا بدنا uh, to respond or to answer the other uh, questions
open it and color default OT فإذا هيدا ال OT ولوناه باللون الأحمر What does OT represent to the angle X or Y فإذا شو بيمثل ال OT with respect to the angle X or Y So OT is a semi straight line since it starts at O فإذا هيدا semi line نحن بنعرف إنه the starting point at O so رح نعبر عنه like this notation عندي عند ال O منحط square bracket وعند T رح نحط round bracket so or, or since we know where the point O is and then OT is the axis of symmetry of this angle يعني إذا منجي نحن منطوي هالأنجل على بعضها على اللاين OT رح نلاحظ إنه رح تتطابق مع بعضهم بشكل كامل such that إنه ال OY will stick on OX and then OT is the bisector of the angle XOY OT هو will bisector of this angle XOY and then what's the measure of both angles we have XOT and TOY and they are equal and they equal to 25 degrees how XOT equal TOY they are equal and they equal XOY divided by 2 which is equal to 25 and then we have to complete these sentences both angles XOT and TOY XOT and TOY they have the same the same vertex O and also they have OT it's a common side OT they are on the opposite sides of they are on the opposite sides of their common side OT so we say now that the two angles are adjacent since they fulfill the three conditions of the adjacent angles same vertex common side and they lie at either parts on the other hand XOT and TOY have the same measure XOT equal TOY equal 50 degrees over 2 and they equal to 25 degrees the semi straight line OT cuts the angle XOY into two angular sectors XOT and TOY and they are equal so this is the we could say this is a definition of the bisector is a semi straight line that cuts the angle into two equal angular sectors so in part C draw a point I on the angle X or Y so how to draw this point I that determines the bisector of the angle following using or following these steps first of all we have to put the dry point or ibrit al bikar rah nhutsa ala al point o ala al vertex of the angle and then we draw an arc like this and we notice that the arc intersects with the sides of the circle and then we put the needle on these two points and draw arcs and they intersect together at point i and then we have to join i to o and we have got we we got the bisector of the angle so where i is situated i is situated on the axis of symmetry and it's situated on the bisector of the angle x or y and how to construct the bisector of an angle there are two methods using the protractor and using the compass that we will discuss soon